This video is going to focus on fake IDs in Ann Arbor. Uh, in Ann Arbor, it's very common for a police officer to be working with a bar, outside of a bar, or monitoring uh, participants trying to enter a bar. Uh, hundreds of times per fall and in the spring, uh, students are issued tickets for this fake ID charge. It is a criminal misdemeanor. It carries jail time. It carries potential probation, probation with alcohol and drug testing. Now, the fake ID charge may also come with another charge, such as a minor possession, disorderly conduct, or other misdemeanors. But assuming all we have is a fake ID charge, we need to take this very seriously. If later in life, uh, a grad school, an employer, or an application process is looking at your criminal record, it wouldn't necessarily say fake ID, tried to buy alcohol, tried to go to the bar with friends. It would actually say fraudulent identification. Now, that can be taken in many different ways and uh, ways that you don't want someone to uh, interpret it. So the number one goal when charged with this offense is to have it dismissed. Now, how do we do that? Well, going to court, the 15th District Court, luckily for us, we have common sense prosecutor and a common sense uh, judge. Uh, at this court, they are very open to learning more about you, learning who you are uh, in the present, who you've been in the past, and where you're going in the future. They understand that in the grand scheme of things that having a fake ID going into a bar is not the crime of the century, but you did break the law and there are consequences for that. What I do with clients is set a goal for, we need to have this dismissed. We don't want to be on probation. We need a plan in order to move forward in that positive direction. So all of my clients that are charged with this offense get proactive day one. I've written the Ann Arbor Criminal Defense Playbook, and in this playbook, I talk about how we can show who you really are. Not this 1% of the time, even less than 1% of the time, 99.999% of the time, you are someone who respects the law, who is positive and proactive in your community, contributes to your community in a positive way. We need to show that. So putting a plan to place, putting proactive items into place, when we go to court in the past, for hundreds of clients, I've been able to achieve a dismissal of charges, avoiding probation, allowing the client to go forward in a positive direction, but most importantly, a lesson learned. There's going to be consequences for your actions, and being young, being in college, you're learning that. You're maturing. Best to learn at one time with a manageable situation like this and go forward and just be more careful. It's not worth it. Long-term decisions uh, are more important than short-term decisions right now. If you or someone in your life has been charged with a fake ID in the city of Ann Arbor, I look forward to speaking with you. I look forward to putting a plan into place, and I look forward to helping you.